generating well what business made um, and i'm honestly i put this in because i wanted to know what business made you your first million health clubs health clubs. health clubs um hell i used to own gyms so the health club business i guess before that it was cosmetics i was in cosmetics really? so how I, did yeah. you make money uh Gym memberships. Gym memberships. Well, man, you open up a gym, it's got a capacity of 300 people, you sign 3,000 people, knowing that 75% of the people don't show up. And they pay every single year. Every single month, people pay and they don't show up because they make a New Year's resolution. They're going to get fit, they're going to health, they're going to go to the gym. By February, March, 75% of people don't go. It's peak print money. And also, the way to make money is to have residual income. So amounts coming every single month rather than big hits. And that's one of the reasons most people who are unhappy in real estate yeah. and they want to try different roles, they never leave. You know why? Because they're always waiting for that next big deal, that, yeah. that next big commission. So they're stuck. They don't have any money. They're waiting for that next real estate deal to come along. Yeah. You're looking at me like this, this rings a bell, right? Yeah, you, you've I'm, come across people who've no, experienced that. No, I'm still stuck. And the fact that you made a million in gym Millions, millions. Yeah, millions. It's pretty one of the toughest industries, I think. It's not, it's I, easy. I mean, it's very hard to just sell somebody a gym membership. You no, know? No, it's, it's, okay. Again, it comes back to sales, right? If somebody walks into your gym, yeah. you're a gym owner, okay? What's the most common thing stupid gym owners do? They show them around the equipment. Let yeah. me take you for a tour, yes? But they don't realize people aren't there to buy equipment. They're there for the environment, the experience, and the results they're going to get. So yeah. what happens is the reason is tough because gym owners don't sell the gym membership correctly. So when they came to mine, I wouldn't sell them the equipment. I'll sell them the story. I'll sell them the story of why our gyms are different to anybody else, what the outcome is, how we're going to take care of them. Because if you sell the experience and share your journey, People get emotionally attached. But um, unfortunately, I was talking to somebody yesterday. Six years ago, I went to look at his gym.